Hey there, welcome to the Beginner Ruby on Rails course. I'm really excited to walk through building an application with you and teaching you the basics of Ruby on Rails. So in this course, we're gonna be building a clone of Buffer where we can create an account, we can connect our Twitter account, and schedule tweets to be posted at certain times. That's what Buffer does, and we're gonna be building a very simple version of this. And what's really cool about this is that I've seen this used as a job interview um, question or, or project, if you will, um, so that this is gonna be a very practical thing for you to build and learn so you can actually use this um, in the real world interviews or something like that. So um, this is gonna be a cool project and we're gonna start out by making sure our environment is set up. So we're gonna be using Visual Studio Code. You can install Visual Studio Code and if you're on a Mac, once you have this installed, you can run Command Shift P, open up the command menu and run the shell command install code uh, command from path. You can just type shell command to find that. And what that will do is allow you to type code in your terminal to open up that folder in your editor. So it can be really handy for that reason. Um, then we're also gonna install extensions. Uh, I've got these installed. I've got the Vim extension installed because um, I'm used to using Vim, but we're gonna be using VS Code so you can uh, get familiar with that. It's definitely more beginner friendly than Vim. Uh, so we're gonna have the Rails and Ruby plugins here and a few others that might be dependencies of those installed. So that's really all you need for your editor. And then we need to have Ruby installed. Now version 3.0 just came out on Christmas as we record this. Uh, in 2020, but I wanna point you to gorails.com slash setup. This is going to redirect you to whatever operating system you're on. So if you're on Linux, Mac OS, or Windows, you can find the instructions for those and use them to set up your machine. So on Windows, you'll use WSL. On Mac, you will use you know just Homebrew and all those regular tools in Ubuntu is very similar. So once you've got the latest version of Ruby installed, you can run gem install rails to install the latest version of rails. And that is going to allow you to run rails new to create your new rails app, which we'll do in the next video.